Hello, Kings, Queens, Nerds, Geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome back to another anime review. But before we get started, you guys should probably uh, do some explaining about some things. Okay, guys, you're probably wondering why I've been posting so much and not so often. Here's the reason. So, so you guys don't, don't have any you know, alarms. Oh, is this channel dying? No, I've just been very, very busy. So, my job in the Army has been very demanding since my promotion, and they've been putting more and more work on me as of late. So, I haven't been, uh... <laughs> I haven't been here in a while, although I did go on a recent vacation recently, which was fantastic, and right now I'm taking this opportunity to start some posting. So, today we'll be talking about an anime called Interspecies Review, which came in English dub recently. It already had finished its first season on sub, but now they're starting their English dubs, and I have the one, episode one right here today. We're going to be watching it and talking about it. Now, guys, fair warning. This is NSFW. This video will be age restricted, so because no, <laughs> that's how you know uh, uh, <laughs> how uh, that's how bad this anime is. So let's let's get started, shall we? So I have the can I actually look at this and put it all the way back? And now let's get started. Hit play. Like, even the anime itself says, the following in program contains intense sexual content and it is into, and it only for mature audiences is the viewer's discretion is advised. That, that would tell you enough right there. Just right off the bat, right off the bat, it's just straight, so straightforward, like, like, it go, it, the transition is hilarious to me, and because, here's my reason why. You have this, WELCOME TO THIS FABULOUS LAND, full of sexy women. There you go. That, that's, that's the idea. I think that's what's so hilarious to me, and I, I think the writer of this story, I, I, I was reading some a actual information about this, apparently the manga is very mild compared to this anime. So I think the guy was like, you know what? Let's go ham. <laughs> and this is what he did. He made it, he went ham. He wasn't chill. His name is Stunk, and I find that hilarious. His name is Stunk. It's very... It's, it says a lot about his personality, too. Now, 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 here's where it sounds like he's being a hypocrite, but he's going to, and now, 
it's gonna be hilarious. I know I have the screen straight up on boobs, but you're gonna have to see something who they're attached to. So this is where I think he's a bit of a hypocrite when it comes to age. This, they, they, like, they want you to sell the fact that these guys are fucking degenerates, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. This is the anime for me. This is the top. This is one. Of, this is probably on my new favorites animes list because I've never found something so ridiculous, and I love it. It fits everything about me. It's perverted, hilarious, and this is perfect. This is. Think about that. Think about what that context is. Okay, so basically what I know is that elves don't live past 800 years in this series. So, think about what he's saying. That means 100 years would probably be like teens to an elf. Or early 20s. That's probably what he's seeing. In, the, in a human's perspective. God. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> this anime is so weird. Stop with the tongues. I feel like this is gonna get me so demonetized. I'm not even monetized. What am I talking about? I feel like this video will be taken down because of this stupid. So you guys understand the concept of this anime. Uh, um, they're about to explain the actual basis of the anime pretty soon. It's going to be straightforward. Uh, you'll see in a minute. I need to read the manga now. And I want to review the manga too. It's all about sex. It's <laughs> this game is th this show is all about medieval sex. <laughs> D and D with sex. <laughs> That's what this is. It's D and D with sex. <laughs> Me if I play D and D.
Now, now the answers are going to surprise you, I, because you know they are of a different species. They all have their own, and every species has their own likes and dislikes. For obvious, the elf has his own preferences in humans because they don't go over a hundred years old. By the way, the episode is just about milk. The, the beginning of the episode, the be first half of the episode is just about milfs, which I find hilarious. So you can see why. So one of them is very particular in their taste, and well, and then there's that you know, the like uh, the wolf guy. <laughs> he has a sense of smell going on. He has a sense of smell involving insects, which I find it, the, the the anime is as much as perverted it is. It's actually pretty sophisticated in the thought. But I think the, it's all down to species, eat what species you prefer, because here's this, and him, they're both into older versions of each other's species, because he's an elf, he's a human, and they're into each other's uh, milk versions of spe their species, so... Now, guys, you're going to get some confusion here. And no, that is not a girl. Actually, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what you would classify this one as. And tits, right off the bat, right there. And ass. All right, guys, in the comments below, uh, um, um, if you're a lesbian or or a straight male, do you prefer tits or ass? That's my question. Now, oh yeah, or bisexuals. Uh, you know what? Here's this: if it's women, if you prefer women, do you prefer tits or ass? And if you prefer men. Do you, uh, do you like pecs or, uh, pecs or butts? Okay? That's my question right now. Oh, I forgot to give you my answer. My answer is I like ass. Ass both ways. <laughs>
thing. I got a fight scene in the first episode trying to probably get people intrigued into it. Fight scenes, sex, fan service. You know what? I think this is the Yuri on Ice for people who are into women. Because here's this. Um, here's, here's why I'm saying this. Because Yuri on Ice was basically designed to attract fangirls. And me. Because, <laughs> seriously, there was so much, you know, things going on in that anime that it just kept building all the suspense up. And that's the thing. This one, though, it tr it tr intrigues a lot more. Although it obviously doesn't leave as much of the imagination as, you know, Yuri on Ice did. And that's why, it, but it has the same level of attraction in some way. Because there's a variety of waifus, as you will. While Yuri and Ice had a bunch of, of husbandos. And I can see, I can, I'm kind of comparing the two in some way because they're attracting what the audience is intended to be. So, I, I, I'm pretty sure that with the amount of waifus in here, everyone's going to be watching. And the same could be said with Yuri on Ice for the amount of husbandos. Uh, basically, what I understand from it is that there's so much subtext going on in that one. And that's why, I, I know that's the, the, I know women have this particular attraction around sex, not sex itself. Well, guys are more straightforward, which is what the audience is entailed in with this one. They want more male viewers on this one. Although, I'm pretty sure there's some female viewers, which there's going to be some male viewers of here and as well. Ugh. Now, quick, quick question. I think this is the same voice actor. Are you of a... Fuck, um... Blue-haired character from, uh, Assassination Classroom. I forgot her name. I forgot his name. It's, a. Uh, it was a, uh, Character that, you know, can pass as female, you know? It started with an N. What was her name? Hold on, I'm gonna Google that real quick. Let's Google that real quick. Um, uh, there we go. I'll find the name in a minute. It's Nagisa. No, Nagisa. That's the name. Nagisa is the character I was referring to, and that's the same voice actor, I think. Now, this is where they're going to reveal their true intentions of why they're so much into sex, and why they're so about reviews. If you notice, they gave reviews about two women, and that was, this is where they're going to go on.
you imagine this just sleeping with a god? Actually, that reminds me of, uh, of Lucifer, because apparently several characters do that. Um, Oh, hey, Jay. Oh. Oh, what are you doing down here? No. Can we take a look at this anime? Well, this is a, a fairly new anime. It only came out last year on sub, and it's out on English dub now. I'm actually recording right now. <laughs> Okay, no, he is not a trap. He is a, he is not a trap. No, he's about to explain why. No. He's intersex. He's intersex. Well, at least I think he is. Or in anime terms, he could be a Futanari if you want to go down that road. But seriously. They had to have a character with both genitalia. They had to do that. One of us needs to make the rant about how Walmart needs to bring back Maruchan ramen to get rid of this stupid panda ramen. Okay, well, I think that's only fun <laughs> here in our Walmart, okay? <laughs> oh, so we just need to drive to a different Walmart, okay? We're going to the other one. <laughs> you know that's like 30 minutes away? I don't care. Just <laughs> to get Maruchan ramen and not this weird panda ramen. I'm okay with it. Let me go on the far end of fountain. Anyway, back to the anime. My, I like how these guys' first response is, Hey, we'll help you if you take us to heaven, so we can sleep with some angels. And then, to, to, to treat the guy, they offer to buy him a fucking whore. No, I like the character. I can't remember the name of the character. What's the okay? I'm gonna look up the character names for this for this anime because I don't remember all the names. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that one is called Crimvale. Crimvale. So yeah. Meow meow paradise. First episode. Already have cat girls, okay? You talking about the shrimp balls? Yeah, they need to cook. <laughs> well, cook them. Before you boil them, don't you? They even go nya. They go nya. You heard that they went nya in the gentle nya. Yeah, what, what the fuck? Yeah, you should only do. You feel like you should only do this with someone you love, but yet I see you, you're about to find out later what hell that makes him a total fucking hypocrite. Okay, 
I'll be honest, I don't know what male, or at least I think that's a male's first time, has ever thought like that. Uh, yeah, again, there's probably at least one who's ever thought, oh boy, I don't know what to do, how do I do? Me, I was a bit more straightforward. Stop doing yeah! I'm about to fucking lose my shit! <laughs> What? Yeah! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I love this anime. It's just, it's all right up my alley. <laughs> what does it mean when his, when, his, when his broken halo is red hot? What does that mean? You did it all. What 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 did you do? How can you've done it all? There is no possible way you've possibly done everything with that cat girl. When most brothels usually charge you by the hour. And I doubt you could do everything within the hour unless you have the stamina of a champion and you're a two pump chump. That is the only way that is that is ever possible, which I doubt that is, that is a thing. So a lot of people think that if you don't have a lot of sex a lot, the reality is that you might, you know, go off fast. That's only, that's, all, that's not true with everyone. For me, if I go through a long time without sex, it's harder for me to, you know, that's my scenario. And I don't think he's that type. Why are you talking to <laughs> what? The show is about sex. I love you. Adorable. I have to give an example. I'm the only example I have. <laughs> Wait, so they basically just went to brothel the brothel the brothel all night. And I like how he uses the term defile. <laughs> now, I have another question. I think this is the first anime where they actually recognize the uh, male. Ca the ma I'm going to call him a trap for now. I think this is the first time I've seen an anime where they recognize the trap as a male right off the bat. Because, I don't know, I'm not counting Nagisa because everyone knew who he was later on, probably. They probably thought he was a girl right off the, when they first met him. But I'm like, I mean, like, new people meeting the trap, they immediately think they, uh, it's a guy. That's the first for me. Because, like, for example, uh, Haku from Naruto. Naruto thought he was a girl, but it was actually a boy. Um... Nagisa, as I mentioned before, when she met that one guy, immediately, uh, thought it was a girl, wanted to date him, <laughs> and then later the truth was revealed. Let's see, Astolfo, I'm pretty sure everyone thinks that's a girl right off the bat, I thought so at first too, but that was a trap. Sir, Grell? Grell looks like a woman! I forgot about Grell. Thank you for reminding me about Grell. Still one of my favorite characters, though. Sorry, what now? I want to meet Sebastian, though. 
First off, I'm sexy in a butler costume. Thank you. You've seen it. Huh? Say it again. Why? I called you a knockoff grill. You're, First off, I look better redhead. than grill. Thank you're, you. You're a redhead too. I look better than grill. Thank you. <laughs> grill is a knockoff of me. I know, and I'm playing along. I love you too. It's gonna rain again today. We ran out of chem lights. Oh, I think I love you more than the Japanese love tentacle porn. <laughs> they already go bring in the tentacles right off the bat. First episode. Like, there's so much in this. There's cat girls, tentacles, elves, milfs, <laughs> in intersex people, <laughs> or traps, more or less. Futanari, maybe. Fujinari, maybe. I don't know what he would classify as. Actually, let's re read the wiki. <laughs> let's find out what he actually is according to the wiki. Okay? I want to know what he's actually classified as. So, race is angel. Age unknown so far. Um, occupation waiter and reviewer, by the way. Hair color blonde, blue. Does it have a gender? No, there's no gender specified. There's. No oh, the engine. Okay, uh, the here's the gender. Androgynous hermaphrodite. That's what he is. He's a hermaphrodite. That's what it says in the wiki. Anyway. I'm glad this anime censors for me, and I don't have to do that. <laughs> that face says Ara Ara right there. That sound okay, that fucking lizard guy just sounds like a neckbeard to me. He sounds like a neckbeard to me. Like, uh, I'm a virgin, but I'm dead. The time is gonna come, you know, and I'm, I'm gathering information. That's what it sounds like to me. We already have a character is like, it's not like I like you or anything kind of character. Uh, although it's more like, I don't like your reviews kind of, or anything kind of character. Because she obviously doesn't care for the characters, but the reviews secretly turn her on. You, and you can see it right off the bat. I keep saying right off the bat. Hard work, pun intended, I bet. Okay, why are you showing me the back end of the of the hermaphrodite? There was no need for that fan service. Oh, yet again, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm an ass man, so I'm I am making reviews. This is my job. I'm reviewing an anime about sex inter sex reviews, okay? <laughs> what are you eating? Why? Bruh, I you know you scream you you scream weeb, right? <laughs> what? I'm not surprised. Yet again I, I look scream like a typical weeb too. What do I look like? 
exactly what you think you look like. I don't know what I look like is the thing. I wouldn't ask that question if I didn't know. The jokes! The jokes! They're just basically dad puns mixed with sex jokes. And first off, they're not good at it. Ugh. They're just terrible at it. Like, I'm better at it than that. The way he uses the term poon. <laughs> I always find I find I find the term poon hilarious. See, she's getting turned on by the review, and yet shocked. Dirty birdie. You have to give the term dirty birdie to describe You named your dick Stunky. Your jokes are terrible, you fucking elf. So, bird girls are submissive. Like they're the anime is weird, but it's but it's it's very well thought out, as I said before.
I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I don't want. I want to see if there's any like. Oh, okay, there's some stuff. There's some. Fairies have limits on what they can take. Demons aren't very popular. Minotaur girls are big and ba uh, bountiful and bootylicious. <laughs> I don't understand. So I'm trying to figure. Okay, I have to be honest though. This anime is good and it's ridiculous, off the wall. But uh, I, I think that's all I have to say. Like, I do, I am looking forward to episode, watching episode 2. If you guys do want me to do a review on episode 2, I will. But, beyond that, that's all I have for, uh, for this episode of Interspecies Reviewers. So, anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later, and stay nerdy, my friends. What? What is wrong with my shit? Bye!